All right, what is going on guys? So today's video, you've already seen the title. We're gonna be doing a super budget AliExpress challenge. Um, basically I went on and I wanted to find the cheapest bait casting combo that I could get. And I think I've got it. Everything that we need is in this bag right here. So let's take a quick look. Boom. Look at that beauty. <laughs> this combo cost 16 quid. Um, nice telescopic rod. Bait casting reel. Uh, and yeah, we're going to see if we can catch a pike on it today. Might be quite difficult. It's um, pretty soft. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully it'll do the job. I mean, we're going to fish with some smaller size lures, which should suit it. But it feels, it feels quite nice in my hand, to be fair. So I'm going to spool this up. I've got some braid to go with it as well. Keeping with the AliExpress theme. We've got some Joff uh, 8 strand braid. I think this was 2 quid. Um, so yeah, I'd be, <laughs> be interested to see how the, the Joff braid uh, works. So yeah, 18 quid rod and braid. Got some cheap leaders as well to go with it. So less than 20 quid for a full setup. Get this reel spooled up. And yeah, let's get fishing. Hopefully catch some fish. Yeah, I'm not even sure what pound braid this is that I've got to be fair. 0.23, so it's probably about 30 pound. See how it goes. <sighs> right guys, the reel is spooled up with my Joff braid. Got, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but got a yellow ring around my finger from holding the line. But the line lay, it's not perfect, it's kind of bunched in the middle, but it's not too bad. I've seen worse, so yeah, let's get this rigged up with a leader. Right, guys, got the rod fully rigged up. A couple of issues. Um, the tip is incredibly soft, so hook sets are not going to be easy. And uh, I can't actually line, this has got stuck and it won't let me line it up, but it's, yeah, it should still work. So I'm going to get a bait on this, see what happens, but man, that is a soft rod tip. Oh well, hopefully the fish hook themselves today anyway. All right, so I think for this, I'm going to go with a coffee motor vibe. This is the 14 gram one, which might be a little heavy for where I'm fishing, but I'll change to a lighter one if it is. And I'm going to put a... Seven centimeter finesse fillet as a trailer, nice black because we've got really colored water. So, yeah, I think those two will go together perfectly. So, I'll rig them up, get tied up, and then we'll start fishing. Fingers crossed, get some fish. Legs, legs kick out a bit as well. Pike right in front of me there. So, I'm gonna get cast ASAP. I that were a good thing to see straight away. That's definitely a pike, that. Okay, that's rigged up. Get tied on. I wonder what that was hunting. It wasn't a big one at all, but easy to take this trap bait. See if we can get it first cast. Oh wow, that was terrible with this soft rod. Okay, casting, casting with this rod is horrible. It's way too soft. Like this is only a 14 gram lure with the trailer. It's probably 16, 17 grams. But man, it's not nice to cast with this rod tip. So soft. Ooh, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a challenge. That's for sure. Yes, 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 yes. No way. Second spot. It's not big, but yes. Oh, why is that one stalking it then? Come here, baby. Come here. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Okay.
Ooh. Damn it. Whew. Okay, we had the first fish. Um, didn't get to show you guys, here are a little bit of guy, but first one on the rod. That didn't take long, hopefully we can get another one. Okay, so one fish down. I did get it on the bank, but literally flopped back after two seconds. It was like a one pound pike, so nothing special, but yeah, nice to know that they'll feed today. Pretty confident we'll get another one now. One that I can actually show you guys. Yeah, one fish down. That one stalked it and slammed it right in front of me as well. That was really nice to see. Would be nice to see a bigger one do that, but at least I know number one, they're feeding. Number two, they'll hit a chat, mate. And number three, this rod can land a fish. <laughs> Maybe not on a bite on a longer line, it might be a bit more difficult, but yeah, there we go. Keep moving now, try to find some more. Oh, one just came out for it. Just pulled out of a backlash and I stuck it and he's dropped it. Oh, he's next to it. He's so tiny now. Oh, he took it and dropped it. Put a bit of weed in it. It's like a half pound bag, but I don't want to catch it. One eternity later. Alright guys, struggling big time to catch a fish today. We had that first one, but obviously couldn't show it to camera because it flopped off straight away. But yeah, about two and a half hours fishing. Had that first fish, missed one more, and I've seen two other fish as well. So yeah, slowest, slowest day for a while. Um, but we are using a 16 pound setup. We're seeing if we can catch a pike on it. We achieved that in five minutes. Really want to show one on the video. Hopefully we'll come. still got about 45 minutes. Well, I just thought I'd give a little overview on this rod and reel. Um, to be fair, the, the reel is way better than what I was expecting for the price. Um, it's starting to squeak a little bit now, but it is actually pretty smooth. It casts pretty well. I had a few teething problems when it, with it when I started with backlashes. Um, but once I got the brakes set up properly and everything, it's absolutely, <laughs> it's absolutely been fine to be honest with you. Don't mind this reel at all, I've had way worse reels for more money. So, yeah, for the price, the reel is not bad. The rod on the other hand, <coughs> it's, it's uh, yeah, very, very soft. It's not a brilliant rod. Uh, it does the job. Hook sets are gonna be pretty impossible, to be fair. Um, but, you know, for the price, I mean, you probably get a better rod for a tenner off AliExpress, you know, bump your price up to 25 quid for the setup, but yeah, it's not too bad. So we're gonna carry on fishing now. Like I said, we've got 45 minutes till it gets dark. Hopefully we can catch a fish. If not, I'm gonna be upset, but yeah, let's see what happens. Still got flu, so making it even harder, but we're grinding. Oh, that was a hit. Oh, stuck it again. Yes. No. God damn it. <sighs> Fudging hell. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? <sighs> All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Fish for six hours total. Contact with three fish, but unfortunately we didn't, well, we technically landed the first one, but 
yeah, didn't properly land anything, but yeah, I ain't fishing with this anymore. So much hard work casting all day with this. It's like the softest rod ever. It's not nice to work the baits with, and uh, yeah, it's been a horrible experience. It was cheap, definitely would catch fish on it. Um, they're obviously not feeding at this moment in time. But yeah, that's going to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we'll get out again with it when I'm feeling better and when the fish are feeding better. Um, and we can actually land some fish. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. So yeah, catch you in the next one.